Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the body cam footage of the arrest of auditing Reno 911. So the clown was at a prison trying to disrupt the activities, doing a fraud it, and then he got arrested. Now I did cover this when it happened a year ago when we had the frauditors footage but the body cam footage is a lot better. It shows what happens in the car and at the jail. The frauditor is complaining that he got hot box, but you know, that's just him being a complete snowflake. Without further ado, enjoy the video. That was my award. Did you guys create a case number? Our prior case. Uh, 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 he's on foot? Building. Yeah, he's on foot. He parked his truck here. There's no, there are no parking signs right here. Um, did you guys contact him at all? I did. I tried talking to him. I was like, we're not going to let you on the state property. He said, you're going to impede my right. I was like, I'm, I'm just letting you know. I've, I've notified deputies. They're going to come here. What did he say? Was, did he give a reason at all? He just exercised his First Amendment rights. Just, okay. Um, I and have locked down my whole yard. My camp's locked down. We have to go in the community and pull the inmates off the community in case it's an attempted escape. So okay. it, it's a big fiasco for us. We don't have any no trespassing signs up, obviously, because we got... But it, as far as the prison property goes, I mean, you guys have discretion to have people leave when it comes to... 100%. Yeah. Okay. So he, he said this is a public roadway, which, in fact, it is a public roadway because we got visitors coming and going, obviously. Yeah. But when it comes down to it, like, I asked him, I was like, are you here for a visit? He said, I don't know the process. I said, you need a visiting form. You can get those from a vendor, can send them to you, or you can get them from our main building over here on I-5500. And uh, he said, well, I need to go down there and figure it out. I said, you are not allowed in any buildings. He said, are you going to pee my way? I said, no, I'm not. But I'm also, I also don't know where, because this is the first time we've encountered it. So I don't know where, where what our options are. We want gone. Uh, well, it's, it's a prison. I mean, if, you, if you're, if you're If you guys can for, trespass them from the property. Easily. Yeah, no, we, I mean, me, I'm the shift sergeant right now. We 100% want them off. Okay, let's go contact them real quick. Sorry, I couldn't hear you from that far away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This gentleman is trespassing on the property. Sir, okay. Can you identify he yourself? I'm the warden of the complex. Hey, what's your name? So I'm asking him to be removed as a trespasser. So, sir, he doesn't have name? authorization to be on the property. Understood. He's, He's not an employee okay. here. He came onto the property without permission. Sir, and my understanding name? is the facility is on lockdown because yes, of this? Yes, it is. This is disrupting operations? This is disrupting operations. Okay. Sir, sir, what is your name? Okay. Put that down. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. I'm not going to risk these guys at all. Okay, can I advise you one thing? No, you may not. Right now, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and may be used against you in a court. NRS 1-7-200. You have a, excuse me, I didn't interrupt you, did I? NRS okay, if you don't want to hear your rights, then we're not going to talk about it. Well, NRS 197-200, so you're not going to land that. Okay, I'm um, not going to ask you any questions. Step over to my vehicle. Okay. So you can see that we're dealing with a no-nonsense type of cop that just will not put up with the frauditor's bullshit, especially when the frauditor is causing a lockdown. There's a million reasons why a prison needs to be secured, including the perimeters, and for a frauditor to just be lurking around, staking out the place, it's definitely a security risk. So I'm really happy that the cop took his job seriously and arrested the clown immediately. Four forty three one detained. So I'm detained. Okay. Thanks, sir. You're in custody at this point. Yes, I'm I'm just asking questions. Okay, go ahead and spread your feet apart. Thank you. We're gonna get everything now. Put the search it's into arrest. And what am I being arrested for? You're being arrested for trespassing. Okay, so where was the uh, no trespassing sign? Fine. We'll, we'll, find, we'll, I'll explain everything to you, but right now you're I'm not under Miranda, so I'm not going to ask you any questions. I'm just asking you questions. Well, you don't have a right to ask me questions at this point. You have a right to get in the car. Hop on in there. Can I twist this way? Yep. Oh. Uh, shut that off if you want. Okay, so my understanding is he's on state property. Mm -hmm. And you guys, what's what's the big sign over there say when you guys are coming in? Is that like a search no thing? Tobacco. No, no tobacco, no entrance. Okay. But all individuals that work, report onto the property, they have to still be cleared to come onto the property with proper notification. He, he just wanders on the property and refused to acknowledge himself. He refused to adhere to the command of you need to leave the property because this is a prison. It's not a 
Yeah, this is not like a like a DMV downtown no, or something. Right. No, this isn't okay. the post office. This, this is the sheriff's is, office. This is a no, secure facility. There's no Freedom of Information so, Act in that like West here. So, okay. So I gave whatever we need, we need some statements. Yeah. I'll be happy to. So that way we have someone from yeah. from the state here, you know, that's going to press. Yeah, yeah, no problem. And then um, we're going to have to probably yeah. tow his truck too. Yeah. Well, he's in custody. Yeah. Tow his truck. Okay. Any well, sales need to get the get the statements on the tow? Okay. So my partner is going to get the statements. So we are going to fast forward a little bit where the officer rolled up the window. Now, the fraudster is going to have a big issue with that. He's going to claim that he was hotboxed, but he must have been in there maybe 10 minutes. I don't think it was that long until the officer got back into the car and then started driving. Okay, let that dry for a second because that's going to smudge for just a few minutes. Um, let me make sure my partner. Let me make sure my partners bring in statements. Okay. Can you give them statements? Yeah, I'm gonna... Okay, so you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and may be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to talk to an attorney and have an attorney present with you if you wish. You can choose at any time not to make any statements or answer any questions. Do you understand those rights? You are under arrest for trespassing and obstructing. I think you're a little confused on how this may work, and that's fine. Okay, but you don't get to do the interrogation on me. Well, that'll be in your probable cause complaint. Okay? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna debate with you. That's not how it works. Okay? Four forty three. Did we run the mail? Also, rebar first of group. That's uh, negative. 10.1063. Ten Less of Robert, Ida Boy, Adam Robert, first of Drew, comma spelling. <coughs> I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Couldn't hear you. All right, sir, step on out, please. Okay. Face the car right here. You just put your feet apart. Thank you. Don't look like you left anything. All right, come on this way. Make a left. Have a seat in that blue chair, or it used to be a blue chair. Right there. Black chair. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Uh oh. Dropping dimes on you. So when he put the caption that he was dripping in sweats, I mean, it is what it is, dude. Cop cars aren't meant to be the most comfortable thing. And the fact that you decide to do your fraud in the middle of a very hot day, you knew very well it was illegal. You knew very well you had a chance of getting arrested. You kind of just have to take the heat, literally. I mean, these guys are always complaining that the handcuffs are uncomfortable. The cop cars are too small. Or in the case of Amagansett Press, he has nowhere to put his feet. But it's like, don't commit crimes, and then you won't be forced to spend any amount of time in the back of a cop car. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> 
A little bit. Is the air running? No. It I wasn't? Think, I think you're trying to hot box me. I had the air back there going. Ah. Uh, well, you rolled up the window that left a breeze. What's that? Yeah, you rolled up the window that left a breeze. So, like I said, yeah, I, 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 I think you're just trying to hot box me. So. It's nice and cool in here. Right? You, you really do need to go read the Tenth Circuit Court. July no, 22nd I'm opinion. not going into any court today. I'm looking at Azari you versus you. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I, I understand. I, I understand you what you're doing, uh, but you arrested me for filming in public. No, I did not. What did you arrest me for? I then? told you. Well, Trespassing and obstructing. How did I obstruct? Hey, I'm not going to get into it. I'm I, sure I just, that you have a big plan and idea no, of I, I don't, in your mind. I, I don't you can really. let that play out. Okay? I'm, I'm just asking you questions based on the actions you were right asked now. to leave, and you were asked several times by the warden and by the supervision okay. of, the, of the facility, and you refused. You refuse to identify yourself. You're required to give your name. I refuse to identify myself. That's okay. that's and nobody that's ever asked. A, nobody ever asked. Statement. Nobody ever asked me to identify. Okay, well, and when I asked, the, when I asked the warden Listen, to identify, I'm, I'm going to just tell you something. I'm my, not going to argue with you. I'm not trying to argue. I'm trying you to answer the questions. You can do this in court questions. later on. I don't care what you have to say right I'm now about to get that. Answers to questions. Okay. So I'm what not answering legal, your questions. What law did I break to be trespassed from public property? I explain that to you. What law did I break? I'm not going to debate anymore. It's clear that you're no in this for an argument, and that's fine. I'm, I'm not trying to argue. I'm just trying to get your today. answer to a question. Okay. Is that's what, not what's going to happen today. And how did I obstruct? What physical action did I take to obstruct? I explained my situation to you. I'm not going to explain it again. I, I understand, but obstruction comes with a... Listen, a, all I can do is explain it to you. I can't understand it for you. Physical okay. or a threat? So just, just do your thing now. Well, no, you need to write it down and articulate it, so I'm trying to understand how you're going to yeah, articulate it. Yeah, I've been doing this yeah, for 17 years. So. I, I appreciate that. And like I said, I'm Thank just asking... Thank you for letting me know I need to articulate the report. I appreciate it. Well, I, I just want to... helpful tips that you may need to think that I should do here, or just by all means let I'm me know. I'm just asking I may not you acknowledge to... you because I have to do other work here. I'm just asking you to articulate... So that way I can get you out of handcuffs and get you in there? Get I... you all dried up and do your thing? I appreciate that. I'm just trying to figure this, figure the situation out. We're going to have to figure that out after they told you multiple times, okay? Unlawfully. What lawful order was I ever given? See, the, the, what's kind of sad is, is you're hung up on, on a very, very specific thing that you think is the crux of this situation. And no matter what anybody can tell you, you think it's that simple. And that's kind of why you're in this position right now. Well, the, the so law... I'm the done, law, the, I'm done, the, gonna, the I'm the done talking about it simple. to you. Okay? I'm just trying to get you to articulate the actions that I took. I don't need to articulate it to you right now. That caused you to take your actions. Because it seemed to me you got there I and did... Will, I will articulate it where it needs to be articulated. And did zero investigation. Right now you are... Um, you're still going and that's fine. No, I'm, I, I'm not arguing any of that with you. I'm just trying to question where you're at. Okay. Have I argued anything with you at all? Or have I just asked you questions? Okay. No more questions for me. i got to get this done so I can get you out of there. Well, I appreciate that. I'll keep asking questions. That's, that's what I do. Is I like to ask questions well, sure so I can gonna understand do what the you're situation. Gonna do. That's totally fine with me. So the frauditor says that the case was dismissed, and unlike the cowboy frauditor that we saw yesterday, he actually showed something that proved that the case was dismissed. It was a conversation with the clerk, and I believe him. That doesn't mean he was right. Cases get dismissed all the time. Sometimes prosecutors have just too many cases to prosecute, or the jails are full, or sometimes there's something with evidence, or it could be a wide array of reason as to why the case was dismissed. It doesn't mean he was legally right. If he was found not guilty, now that would be a whole other story. So the fact that it got dismissed, he's waving it around like it's a win. That's not a win. I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate each other. Is this a good current address for you? What address is that? Pershing. Uh, say the whole thing, please. I'm sorry? Could you say the whole thing so I can verify it, so, since we're being recorded? You don't remember your address? Uh, I know my address, but you're reading it and you're verifying whether you're putting it in there. What did you put in the computer? You sound very silly. That's I'm, I'm so just far. trying to articulate exact details. You don't know much about articulating at this point. It's a simple question, but if you want to be on the record as far as your uncooperativeness goes, that's... I'm not trying to be uncooperative. I'm trying to question to make sure you're entering the right data in the computer and you're not giving me a complete address to verify I'm the information. Under driver's license. Can you verify what's on there so that's I can... That's okay. I'm going to verify it off of this here. I, I'm thing. more than I'm happy to cooperate and tell you. I just want to know what you're reading so I can no, make sure okay. you're reading the right thing, sir. No. Or are you trying to catch me in a trap?
Are you trying to entrap me into something? It's, oh my goodness. I, I'm just asking questions because, I mean, I ask a simple question. You want me to verify an address. Sorry. And I, I want you to know what you're reading so I, I can confirm. I want to be rude and laugh. I'm just, I'm just going to keep doing this here. Okay. Are you employed? I'm going to exercise my constitutional right to remain silent. No shit. He doesn't want to answer that simple question. Are you employed? Yes or no? Of course he doesn't want to answer it because there's no way anybody with a full-time job or even a part-time job would have time to stand in front of a prison to fraud it because only unemployed people have that much time on their hands. It's like, dude, just answer the question. We already know the answer. Not answer your questions. Can you check with someone and make sure that that camera can go in his property? They might have it in safekeeping because like it's a valuable item. Sorry? Now, if you don't bring him in by the time I come back around, I'll, I'll check with someone. But just let whoever's doing the intake, let them okay. know. I, have to, I just have to put this gear folder. Okay, doke. Hey Jacob, it's Bueno. Can you give me some information? The vehicle wasn't, I don't see linked in the call. Um, so I just need some vehicle information off that 28. I need the year first. Okay, I'll take the plate. What's the plate? Yes. Five nine three. Okay, and the year, please. Uh, and is he the RL? Okay. All right. Thank you. That's all I need. Bye bye. So if you're able to make bail. I'm gonna, I can see if they'll leave your camera in your evidence bag. If not, then I'll go put it in the evidence vault. Okay. Which would you prefer? Um, bail shouldn't be a problem unless it's something crazy. Okay. But, uh, go ahead and send that. Uh, step no. on the black mat and face the larger blue one on the wall. Let them know and hopefully they'll be looking bail. Step on the black mat and face the blue one on the wall, please. Right there. So here's the thing with this cop. He's tough but fair. Even though this frauditor is trying to cause a lot of problems, didn't want to identify, was frauditing a prison, he's still offering him to keep the camera inside his personal stuff so he doesn't have to make an appointment to retrieve it from the vault. So even after all that, he's still trying to do him a favor. I think that the frauditor should consider that before calling him a tyrant or the other crap they usually say. Even the title of the video is extremely ridiculous. It was Cop Tortures Prisoner, First Amendment Auditor Hotbox. This guy really needs to look up the definition of torture. Closer. Thank you. Yeah. You. Um, so he's going to be a book and bail. Um, so I know this is expensive, but can we put it in his property and he can leave with it? Or do you want me to book it in? It's misdemeanor, so just wanted to check with you guys. What's that? Or we think he's MPRA or who? It's just it's two misdemeanor charges, so it should have printed out. The one of them's obstructing, that's gotta be reviewed. So yeah, he has, one person just reviewed, so he's not gonna be MPRA. He has no criminal history. But the charge hits a level that says 
Okay. So are you guys able to put this in there? It's just like a phone and a camera. Oh, it's a gimbal. How much is it worth? Um, probably about three thirty-five hundred somewhere in there. What's expensive? I'd say over here. Well, you don't. That's ev that's evident. Okay. Huh? What? Twenty. Twenty days. Days. Yeah, I know. You love me all. You love me all, right? Okay. So when they review it, they send it up at five. So you could put it in there if you wanted to help him out. Well, we could put it in there, but then he might not get out, and the stuff's rough in the property room. Okay, I'll book it in. Tried. What, what, is that, what does that mean? Can I'm going to book it into our evidence vault for safekeeping. Okay, so I have to get it out of that. What do you need to do? Well, will you release it? What's, what's you have to check on? it out at the evidence, make an appointment, and have them check it out. Okay, so what's evidence? So you go to the front counter when you're released, and then you can make an appointment to get it checked out. Okay. You have to meet with the evidence technician, and then we'll check it out. Okay. It's just an expensive item, and they don't want it no, fitting in a bag. Yeah, don't, 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 please don't wreck it. I don't want it wrecked. There's no reason to wreck it. Not at all. All right, step in this room, step on the black mat and face a larger blue one on the wall. How much cash is here? They may want that. How much cash? Oh, in the wallet or in, no, the... in the little thing there? In the whole thing? You know, we're gonna have to count it. I just off the top of your head. Probably $1,200, $1,300 somewhere there. Hopefully, they'll have to look that too. They say crime doesn't pay, but clearly, this guy is making a decent amount off his frauds. I mean, he has a truck, he has plenty of cash for bail. Or maybe he's doing some sort of illicit activity on the side because it's very unlikely that he is a productive member of society. Usually frauditors are complete losers that refuse to get a job. They refuse to do anything productive and they just mooch off society. And I'm sure this guy is no different. He's got cash on him too. Okay. Over a thousand. Okay. I don't know what, what you say about that anymore. He's got an earbud in him. A couple of checks. I don't know if they're cash or not. I'll let you do your thing. Thank you. Um, You're welcome. Can you count the money out? Because that might be as quick as you have here. Like I said, you start being, I know it's just here, but the, that tip's the Can you hold it? Box on there. You want to count it? I got you. I like your voice. Yeah, I like the radio announcer voice. AM radio? Yeah. Uh, here's some more. Yeah, if you wanted to post your bail, that might be the quickest way to do this because one of those charges is obstructing and that has to be reviewed by a judge. Okay. And I can't guarantee you when, what time you look at that crap, I get it back to you. Right, so. You have to tell me what the process is. Well, he can't, he can't bail until that's reviewed. No. Even, he, even with the cash? No, he can post. He can post anytime. He can post anytime. Okay. That's fine. But with that whole NPRA thing, when you get back on the judge, I have no idea how long that's going to take. So, if you wanted to use your own cash to post bail and get out of here quicker, that's okay. Do you know what the bail is? So is that is that so with that cash though so still we'll want the camera book, right? Uh, if if we can do this, do you want to use your money to post bail? Then well, well, how much is bail? We're gonna find out here in a second. That, that's 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 the, that's the question. Do I, have I the think it's seven hundred or something like that. Yeah. Oh. It's What's the bail? Obstructed and received. Eight seventy nine. Eight seventy nine. If we got, let's do that. Okay. Okay. 
And if he doesn't, if he wants to use that, and he's got it, I'll just take the camera and get rid of his property. That'll work. That way you can get it back faster. Five, six, seven. I'll have to go through an uh, arrangement with um, Marie. I'll have them pop me through a little bit. Oh, yeah, you're going to have, because you got the 50 in here, too. You, you've got the money to post bail. So. Yeah. Okay. I figured I did. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so we won't have to worry about hearing back from the judge. We'll just work on your paperwork and get you in and get you out. Okay. okay. And then, like I said, partner, put your equipment in there, and then I'll get inventory, and then you'll be with that, too. Okay. So they have to worry about going over next door. And Do you want to take a water coin? Separate fee coin, please. The glasses, are they readers or prescription? Readers. When I'm watching this, it's still baffling me how these guys are willing to put themselves through all of this just for a handful of views. I mean, this guy has 10,000 subscribers and he must get, you know, maybe a thousand, two thousand views per video. Occasionally, he'll get one that pops off, such as this one who ended up getting 72,000 views, I believe. But even if he got a million views off every arrest, it wouldn't be worth it. Absolutely not. You should never be willing to jeopardize your freedom for any amount of views or clout. It just shows that there's something really wrong with these people and that they are truly desperate. 272, 433. Go ahead. Hey, just 43, he's got enough money to bail on him, so uh, we're just gonna take the equipment and he can leave with it. Cool. I'm sure she got this one. This one. Hands up off the back there if you can. Thank you. Now or? No, you're fine. Anything left in the pockets? No, uh, but I know. Okay. Hands up off the back there if you just think. You can go ahead and put it back down. Anything you choose besides feet and your socks? Feet and socks and some sweat. Slide over to your left a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. Any jewelry or piercings? Anything I can't see? Nope. You take any medication, any medical conditions I should be aware of? Nope. Like I said, then my partner will get to work. We'll get to work on your paperwork, and then you'll get out of custody court date in about a month. Come back to see the judge, and then we'll we'll kick you loose. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take your hands out. Okay. So we start with your right hand here. When I do, it goes on the wall in front of you there. Step out of your shoes and slide them back behind you, please. You know what makes this even more ridiculous is the guy's age. He's clearly in his 50s and the fact that he's still at a point in his life where he's getting arrested is ridiculous. When you're in your 50s, you should be planning out your retirement, not making legal troubles for yourself. Clearly, this is one of the students of Professor Metz from Rogue Nation Esquire and this guy has confused a lot of people and we're seeing one of his victims before our very eyes. Which 
but I'm if I were to just have a seat there on the chair behind you. Okay. Real this. Not in a second, I'm going to put this on the counter so it doesn't go across the ground. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. As promised, when fraud were arrested, I found it really interesting that we got to see the whole booking process, or at least most of it. Now, the fact that he was willing to put himself in that situation for a handful of views is sad, but it is what it is. These guys are desperate. They don't have anything going for themselves, so the only thing they know how to do is do these little stunts for attention. It's a very sad existence. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I live here!